In this section, we introduce the category of elements for a pre-sheaf for the purpose of proving the more general adjoint functor theorem. So far, we have reduced the more general adjoint functor theorem to the general representability theorem. The category of elements of a pre-sheaf will allow us to reduce the general representability theorem to a condition on categories. What we have done so far is taken a functor G to pre-sheaves B, B, G for each B object B. And in this section, we will show how to construct a category of elements from a pre-sheaf. We start with the definition. Given a pre-sheaf on A, the category of elements of T is defined to be the category of the singleton set point over T. In other words, the objects are elements X parameterized by this point, and morphisms are commuting triangles. We use the notation XA for such an object and F from XA to X prime A prime for the commuting triangle. Note that there is a projection functor from the category of elements of T to the category A, which takes the morphism F from XA to X prime A prime to the amorphism F from A to A prime. Also note that the category of elements for the pre-sheaf B, B, G is a category B over G, which we have discussed before. We will now translate the terms in the general representability theorem to conditions on categories of elements. First, let T be a pre-sheaf on A. If A is idempotent, complete, then so is the category of elements of T. For the proof, we let E be an idempotent in the category of elements. We need to show that it splits in the category of elements of T. Since the category A is idempotent complete, the underlying amorphism E splits as IP. Therefore, IP in the category of elements is equal to E since TIP is equal to TE and TEX is equal to X by our assumption. We also have TPI is equal to the identity on T, which shows that E splits as IP in the category of elements. Next, we have a lemma. If T and T prime are pre-sheaves on A, and phi is a natural isomorphism between them, then phi induces an isomorphism between their categories of elements. For the proof, we define the functor phi bar, which takes a morphism F from X A to X prime A prime in the category of elements of T to F from phi A X A to phi A prime X prime A prime in the category of elements of T prime. Phi bar is well defined by the naturality of phi so that we see phi A prime T F X is equal to T prime F phi A X and T F X is equal to X prime by the definition of a morphism F in the category of elements of T. So phi bar is well defined. The inverse phi bar inverse is defined in the same way. We take a morphism F from X A to X prime A prime in the category of elements of T prime to F from phi inverse A X A to phi inverse A prime X prime A prime in the category of elements of T. Then by our constructions, it is easy to see that it is the inverse of phi bar. This allows us now to easily prove that T is a representable pre-sheaf on A if and only if the category of elements of T has an initial object. For the proof, since T is representable, there exists an A object A and a natural isomorphism from the representable on A to T. Thus, by the lemma above, it is enough to show that the category of elements of the representable on A has an initial object. We claim that the identity on A, A, is the initial object. Indeed, for each object F A prime, we have the unique morphism F to it, as indicated by the diagram and the fact that the Yoneda embedding is full and faithful. Next, we show that a pre-sheaf T is pointwise continuous if and only if its category of elements is cone complete, which means that for each diagram D on the category of elements of T, there exists a cone on D. To prove the forward direction, if we are given a diagram D bar on the category of elements of T, we set D to be the composition pi T D bar, where pi T is a projection functor described in number one above. Then by definition, D bar I is equal to Xi Di for some element Xi in T Di for each I, giving us a cone of elements Xi on T D. Then since T is pointwise continuous, there exists a cone Pi on D and an element Y of Ta such that T Pi Y is equal to Xi for each I. But this is equivalent to giving a cone Pi with vertex Ya on D bar. Therefore, the category of elements of T is cone complete. Conversely, let D be a diagram and XI a cone of elements on TD. To find D bar from I to the category of elements of T, 
which takes an i arrow d from i to i prime to the morphism d d in the category of elements of t from x i d i to x i prime d i prime. This is well defined since x i is a cone on t d. But the category of elements of t is cone complete. Therefore, there exists a cone p i on d bar. But this is equivalent to giving a cone p i on d and an element y of t a such that t p i y is equal to x i for each i. And thus, we see that t is pointwise continuous. Finally, we show t is petty if and only if the category of elements of t has a pre-initial set of objects, which is defined to be a pre-call limit for the empty diagram. In other words, there exists a set of objects xj, aj, such that for each object xa, there exists an index little j and big j and a morphism h from xj, aj to xa. To prove this, we have the definition of T being petty as there existing a set of elements xj and taj such that for each element y of ta, there exists an index little j and big j and a morphism h from aj to a such that th xj is equal to y, which is precisely the definition of the category of elements of T having a pre-initial set of objects as demonstrated here. And that completes the translation process of terms in the general representability theorem into conditions on categories.